Hola. What's up, Roscoe? Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, welcome, I, welcome. I said, what's up, Roscoe's? Yes. We are back with our viewing party of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star Season 8, bitch. Yes. We're going to send our love to Batty. She wasn't feeling well today. Wow. Love you, Batty. But she won't be here today. See you next Aww, week, sister. Oh, shucks. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> Love you, Batty. Uh, YouTube, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Are we ready to get this shindig started? Yeah! I think so, Diva. Yes. You, you okay. want to bring out the first one? You want me to do it? So I'm going to bring out the first do one. Do it. Go ahead. Um, the first one, um, I've known her for quite some time. She is my sister from Puerto Rico. Give it up for Jessica Wall! ¡Qué escándalo! Eso. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna hear you scream, Roscoe. ¿Y dónde están mis latinos? Ay, esto se jodió. Sí, está, está Ay, te amo, me encantó la entrada. This is going to be a good night, y'all. Please keep the energy up for our next special guest, the winner of Canada's Drag Race Season 1, Priyanka! Yay! Yes! <laughs> oh, my God! Wow. <laughs> Wow, I fucking love this place. <laughs> Have Welcome a seat, back. Priyanka. Have a seat, my love. Wow, Priyanka is in the building. How are you lovely ladies doing today? Okay, Jessica made me so late today. What? Oh, Jessica made you late? Well, <laughs> I got here around 3 p.m. Same. It was a lot of traffic. And, you know, I was just practicing my, uh, my quick drag today. Well, you look absolutely beautiful. We are super excited to have you both. Priyanka, have you been watching the season? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> She's I honest. Have. She's honest, y'all. I've been watching. Gorge. Who are you rooting for? I am rooting for Jessica. <laughs> but I do want to say that I don't, know, I don't know you, bitch. And when I've been watching, you're a star. It's so amazing to watch. It is like, like, do you know that you're the best? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Since I was born. <laughs> now, let me tell you, like, I, I, from season two to All Stars 8, you know, I'm a totally different person because I'm wiser, I'm older. And I'm just enjoying every second. And I believe in myself more than ever. You know, of course. I'm a human. Sometimes I'm going to be like, oh, can I do this? But you know what? Yes, I can. I can, I can do anything. And yes, I'm proud of myself. Thank you. You're welcome. And baby, we're well, so proud of you here too at Roscoe's. So we certainly are. It has been an absolute uh, pleasure to watch your journey uh, up until today. So we're excited to see what we see today. Um, should we just get this started, yes? Let's get into it. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Mikey, oh. let's go ahead and play that episode. Oh, he's here and there. Uh, yes, it's yes. there. So they're not staring at you. They're staring at the I above your head. About me. All stars. <laughs> okay, we got a lot. We got a lot to cover. We got a lot to cover. So uh, let's do. We do. Let's, the makeover. Yeah. Well, first we're gonna start with what just happened last week. Alexis just got. Uh, Who? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh Clearly, we know how you feel about her. Um, <laughs> how do you feel about her? Alex I love Alexis, actually. Oh. Yeah, I actually do. I love Alexis. I, yeah, I love Alexis. It's just a show. Don't it's, take it like that. Listen. <laughs> if I love Neisha Lopez, I can love anybody. <laughs> <laughs> this Facts. is true. Facts. <laughs> this is very true. <laughs> it's called Honest. I'm an honest friend. <laughs> but Alexis went home last week, you were saying, Diva. Yes, okay, so Alexis went home last week. <laughs> you just stirring the oh pot, bitch. 
Uh, so Alexis went home last week, um, and you did vote for Alexis to go home, right? So what was the determining factor for you? Because early in the season, you said, I'm going to vote how I want to vote, and that's it. Yeah. And I stayed to that the whole competition. I didn't need alliances or any of that bullshit. I was just there to be fair, you know? Uh, I was there like... <laughs> I was there like 14 hours with my sister shooting. So I saw everything. What, what you didn't see, I saw it. So it was based on everything. In so this case, Alexis Michelle, she got the, the little worst critiques because everybody did good on the rose, right? Yeah. She was the weakest, just a little bit. And... Just, just because of that, and I, no matter that she came to me like, I'm not gonna vote for you, blah, blah. I was like, well, I'm gonna vote for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's my decision, but we are very good friends, and she have her alliance with Candy, and I'm like, good, you, you, can, you can pick my lipstick, this is not personal, I'm fine. No matter what, I'm top three, honey. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that was, it was based on the, on the judges, to be honest, like, yeah. Okay, I want to ask both of you this question. Um, I personally got to witness how hard Jessica worked because we were in the rooms right next door to each other. <laughs> I don't think Jessica ever slept um, if it wasn't on the bus ride or when she sat down somewhere because um, she was always working. For both of you, what was the most challenging part being on Drag Race? Being on Drag Race? Yeah, just oh. all of it. Just all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, having to masturbate to your thoughts is hard. Because the girls, like, they had porn and they didn't share it with me. And I don't think that's really nice. Um, Juicebox did have a flashlight. And she didn't use it. And then Queen's Care knocked on my door and they gave it to me. That she told you she didn't use it. Oh, I smelt it. It smelt, like, clean. <laughs> I had to just know. I was curious. <laughs> Um, but other than that, I think the, the mental turmoil that like every, no, okay, on my season, <laughs> it was only Lemon that would ever compliment anybody in the room. All the girls, like they kept to themselves because like if you were to show, if you were to say someone else look good, that might like ruin your chances of winning or something. I don't know. Canadians are, woo. But I guess Americans are worse. Okay, so anyways. So then, <laughs> um, this is true. <laughs> this is true. We um, are. So, that, so hearing the judges kind of tell you if you're good or not after you spent thousands of dollars on your package is so... <laughs> it's not good. And our therapist on set was like, also like not there. I was like, I'm just worried that I'm going to go down a deep hole. And she said, okay. And I was like, yeah, like, you know, like, I quit my job to be here. She said, right. She's like, okay, well, we'll, de we'll, we'll do a follow-up. I didn't see her for, like, weeks. She was like, fuck this. So that would be the hardest point time. And Snatch Game, of course. Okay. How, about how about for you, Jess? Jessica? Um, Besides to be away from everybody and to be in that fucking room, like... By myself, I, uh -oh. I did. I masturbate watching Netflix. Can you believe that? The, <laughs> what did I you watch? Like, Wait, what show were you watching? I was watching a, uh, I was watching a movie, and <laughs> and then I started like, mm, hi, <laughs> to myself, you know, like, hi. you look good, puppy. <laughs> and also, I fell asleep in the shower. Because we were tired, you know, we were hard. And Neja, that it was next to me, I don't sew, but I was sewing. Yeah. Fixing stuff, because a lot of the outfit, they came to the hotel, like, last minute. This is not easy, you know? People think, like, oh, welcome to Drag Race. Yes, let's do it. It's all done, no. It's a lot of work, a lot of preparation. I have, like, 300 panic attacks, but... You know, th that's why I'm so proud of myself because those panic didn't stop me. And I was working. Oh, yeah. You can sew, but you're gonna sew. 
<laughs> you can sing because you can sing. Bring me the ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, every challenge is difficult, uh, but but it's amazing when when you fight with those with those demons and you go to the next challenge and everything. But yeah, what was the question? You answered it. I think you answered it. What it was difficult, it. right? Yeah, what was the most difficult part, would you say? Just Yeah, that's, that's why to me, like, every challenge. Because now the English is not an excuse anymore. I was like, English, that I don't give a fuck anymore. If you understand me, you understand me. And if not, the body language. <laughs> it was more the challenges. All of them are difficult, you know? We've, we've been through a lot. And, yeah, it's, it's a hard competition. Okay, I wanted to ask you, um, and be honest, did you see yourself making the top three? Huh? Did you see yourself making the top three this season? When you, when you put that in your head, you are wrong. You need to go to the competition to, to fight because if you put it in your mind like, that crown is mine, when, when you lose or, or when you are in the bottom, you feel devastated. In my case, I went there like, here I am in front of the TV, Paramount Plus. Everybody's watching me. Oh, I survived another challenge. Let's do this. Let's do this. Le oh, boom, boom. Let's send people home. But it wasn't my intention. I, s on season two, happened the same thing. I, being on TV, opened a lot of doors. That's why I'm here. So I'm more hungry about being exposed, exposure. That's, that's what is gonna give me uh, longevity. <laughs> longevity. <laughs> yeah. But when you, when you see that you are there, one episode, two episodes, then you start like, no, 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 bitch, I'm not living without the crown. <laughs> and that, uh, I think at the middle of the competition, then you start like, you don't wanna quit to the, to the crown, and you get, Obsessed with the crown. Yeah. But when I went there, I was like, ah, let's have a good time. Hey, nature, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, now, on the opposite side of that, was there anyone that is gone now that you would think would still be there? Come on, eh? oh is God. there anyone? It, it, was there anyone that left or got eliminated from the competition that you were like, oh, I thought that person was going to make it to the end? Nature Lopez. <laughs> Let me tell you. They cut her wings too early. That's why I was devastated be because we all know Nisha Lopez. We know what we what she what he what he can do. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, that's right. You are very handsome, Mr. Continental. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> like, yeah, like I know her. That's why I was devastated. I was like, why they don't give my sister the opportunity to go further? But no matter what. Like, you did amazing. Give it up for Nisha Lopez, please. <laughs> and we all know, and, and that's what I said, the opportunity to be on the show. Like, not everybody's gonna be on Drag Race. You know, we, this is a special opportunity that we have. But uh, other person that I want to, to stay longer, it was Lala Ree too, you know? <laughs> and I know I had her lipstick. <laughs> but in my opinion, through the competition and the sewing challenge. Um, Lala was struggling a little bit more than Candy, and I have a friendship with Candy, and you, you can vote for whoever you want, but I want both to stay, to be honest. Like, but I want Lala Ray, yeah. I would like to see some more from Heidi. I know that, you know, she was like going. But I think, I think we all want more Heidi, yeah. Yeah. I was devastated when I was she like, left. Oh, I was like, oh, she. my God. Yeah, that was... And you were really killing it. I was excited. I'm excited I'm for sorry. you. Well, You're she's so still good. in it. The Fame Games is happening. The Fame Maybe. Games. Yeah. Fame Games is still happening. What is the prize uh, now in Fame Game? Okay, $50,000 is for Fame Game. Um, let me ask you this. Um, first episode... <laughs> Before First, I came here, someone was like, uh, Nate's going to ask the shady question. That's oh, no, I'm totally going to ask I shady questions. I love Pri it. Don't worry, I have, I have a list for you, Priyanka. Uh, um, but no, uh, okay, really quick. Second episode, you voted for Kahana. You Did Kahana give you shit afterward instead of, you know, because most, it was what, like uh, seven or eight 
voted for uh, me, and then two people voted uh, for Kahana. It was, uh, Kasha. it was Kasha and Jessica. It was Kasha and Jessica. How was you, Kahana? You, you won fan favorite to go home. That what? You, you won the fan I favorite to go home. I won the fan to, favorite to, to go, go home. home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because all these track record, whatever. I didn't have an alliance with Nasha. I never told you. I told myself, I don't give a fuck. My Puerto Rican sister can do shit, whatever. I'm not going to send her home. If Rolaska talk went to the top on their season together, why I'm not going to say my sister? Fuck that. But she would... ¿Qué? Oh, there's detox. detox. Give it up for detox. Yes, in the house. bitch. I know detox is here. Bitch. Let me tell you. You're scared the fuck out she of was, She was saving Roxy all the time. So I'm going to say Nasha Lopez. <laughs> We're not going to send a Miss Continental home. Never. <laughs> detox. How are you, Detox? Give it up for Detox in the house. Detox. Detox. <laughs> My Gemini sister, happy birthday. <laughs> I'm a Gemini too. Yeah. When's your birthday? Are, oh, are you June Gemini? 10. Are you Gemini too? Yeah, May 28th. Oh my God, there's four okay. Geminis. Four of us. All four of us are Geminis. That is insane. That's why people say Geminis Pisces. are putas. Oh my God, that is insane. Okay. So yeah. Um, yeah. So Kahana, did Kahana, Kahana give you Kahana shit? was upset. And I told her in her face, because she's my friend, I'm like, I, I thought... That I think that Nisha deserved more time. She w she didn't have an opportunity to at least win one challenge, and you did, and that made her angry because she told me I didn't came here to win one challenge. I came here to win the comp and I and I was like, I'm sorry, I I didn't expect that I was hurting her feelings. Just telling her, like, you won one episode. You're fine. Go home. <laughs> you know, I didn't expect that, but I want Nisha at least to, all right, such a way, but at least with one winning. So I apologize to her. Everything is good between me and Kahana. And yeah, everything is, is good, but she was hungry. <laughs> no, and I mean, she's absolutely right. She didn't go there to just, you know, win yeah. one. She was there to be in the bottom three times. And no, oh. I'm scared. <laughs> Wait. Wait, wait, I'm just fucking with you guys. Nasha. Kahana knows I love her, I'm just fucking with her. She's gonna tell me that she bought real estate in Vegas. Don't come for me, girl. Please, don't yep. come for me. She knows I fucking you with are, her. You are, with. you are bad because no. it was four times. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Kahana, we love you, Kahana. We love you, sister. <laughs> we love you, girl. <laughs> no. No, it... Can I, can I say something about Kahana? Of course. Absolutely. The Rusical. Why I say Kahana? It was the most difficult choreography. She took the risk. Trust, when I heard the Latin sounds on the, on the song, I was like, ding, 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 ding. Oh, that's my part. Until I read the fucking long lyrics, I was like, fuck that. <laughs> and Kahana was like, da, 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 da. It was... A lot of lyrics, a lot of choreography, and she looked beyond stunning on her runway. That's why I, ser I saved her. Not because of the Snatch Game. I forgot about the Snatch Game. I don't give a fuck about that. The Rusical, it was amazing. Everybody did great. But Kahana, she took the risk. Yeah, and, and we did talk about that, and I want to ask both of you this question before we go back to the show, if you guys agree with me. Um, I have said they hold different queens to different standards because Kahana was absolutely amazing. Yes. And then you had someone with simpler choreography, not as difficult, and they got praised, and then you had Kahana in Are the bottom. Are you talking about which Detox? I disagreed. I, I, <laughs> yes, it was Detox. <laughs> But do you, do you agree that sometimes they just, that, that they hold queens to different standards on the show? Yeah, I think like the, the bar, you kind of, you set your own bar, which is also tough too, because like in a perfect world, it's an even playing ground every single week. But like no matter what, like Rue said about Jimbo on the um, design challenge, 
it was like, this is amazing. This is what we expect from you. Because part of me was like, a design challenge? Oh no, what, what, what would I do? I was like, I wonder what would happen if I came out in a face kini. If they'd be like, girl, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> or if they'd be like, this is amazing, this is so cool. I, I, I definitely think that like, we set our own bars, but the judges have an expectation and if we don't reach it, we're fucked, which sucks. I don't know if it's good or bad. Is it good or is it bad? It just depends if you have a good week or not. <laughs> Do you agree, Jessica? I think she you forgets the question. Watch. <laughs> she definitely. She's gonna forgot like, the question. What was the question? I was looking at myself in the mirror. <laughs> On that note, let's go back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Jimbo's in danger, girl. Jimbo is in danger, girl. <laughs> so. <laughs> So with, with this challenge, if you guys don't know, they give you the option of bringing, <laughs> you know that this challenge is gonna happen so you can bring this with you, like one for you and one for somebody else, um, or you could make it there. Um, Priyanka, did you have this challenge? I don't recall. Did you I have this won challenge? mine, bitch. Work, <laughs> yes. Okay, so perfect. I want you both to tell me, um, what did you guys opt for? Did you go for the bring your own look um, and then hopefully wish <laughs> for the best that it fits? Yeah. Or did you guys make yours there? No, I can't make anything. You can't make anything. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, no. <laughs> okay, uh, so you I brought, yes, like one for me and then I brought the same idea but I just made it a ginormous potato sack okay. and my drag mom, Ecstasy Love, taught me how to like take it in. Ah, so on smart. camera, I'm like at the sewing machine like, <laughs> and then I won the challenge. It's like everyone's gonna think that I'm like this seamstress. No one thought that, but. <laughs> but you are crafty. You know how to create stuff, right? Thank you for believing in me. I believe in you. Oh my god. Somebody have to. <laughs> Thanks, mommy. I love you, my baby. <laughs> and Jessica, what did you do? Did you have to sew yours? Did you have to? In my uh, imagination. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. This is what happened, sisters. You know, for this challenge, you can bring the, the outfit like ready. But I was like, how am I gonna bring an outfit that I don't know the size of the person? So I told a friend that he was helping me, a designer, can you please do like two different outfits for me uh, that fit any sizes? Right, thank yes, baby, I got you, honey. So my idea was like two girls from the 80s, you know, to sell the story. When the outfit came to the hotel, it was just the fabric, honey. <laughs> they didn't have time. <laughs> he didn't have time to the shit. <laughs> and I was like, oh, thank you so much. But you know what? I'm leaving day, my days one by one. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to that challenge. You know what happened? I made it. You did. So, you can see that my Lisa, Kitty Wild, she's tiny, very tiny. Nothing that I have. I, I don't have like double stuff that to to like candy that it was perfect. What candy brought fit on her girl perfectly. Me and Jimbo, we were like, let's see what the fuck we're gonna do. Um, so I have to make it like, how do you say? La ponerlo más pequeño to make it smaller. So I was sewing again, bitch to make that shit smaller. Uh, but yeah, now you're gonna see very soon what's, go what, what's gonna happen. But, but yeah, it's hard because you can bring the stuff from, from home, but you don't know the model, so you have to create there. You have to be crafty. Yeah, it's kind of a gamble. You gotta like, you know, try to see if something, yeah. it, one size does not always fit all. And, so. and maybe, maybe later we're gonna talk about this, but I wanna talk about right now. Her shoes, her feet, is not even five. It's like four and a half. And all my shoes fit her. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like, even a, even, a, even a size five, it was big for her. And I'm like, what I'm gonna do with you? She can walk, heels. I, I think I prefer to put my father in drag, bitch. <laughs> She can walk in heels and her tiny feet. It was difficult to find heels like four, four and a half. Who's four and a half? 
Anybody here? Four and a half. That's a tiny foot. Are you four and a half? This tiny little woman right here. Look you at are? She is, she is a four and a half. Look at her. But she's, let me see your shoes. Come here. She's also like four Let me see your feet. shoes. This is no shade. Oh you my get God. your shoes in the adult section? You see? A fucking alcapurrias. Yeah. <laughs> it's not easy to find heels on that size. Yeah. I'm sorry, love. Nobody wants to wear that shoe. <laughs> but we love you. Absolutely nobody. Uh, no. <laughs> It w it's not easy to find beautiful shoes no. in that little size. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, <laughs> so, wait, wait. Uh, go ahead, Nick. To just kind of take this into a positive place. Um, let's make some noise for Olivia here doing Olivia! our ASL. Olivia, thank you so much. Um, we, this is definitely something new that we're trying, and we're absolutely happy Loving with it. it. Um, to be inclusive, and we're gonna do this every single week. So let's give it up one more time. Tip Olivia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tip your queens. Um, to bring it back to this though, um, so Jessica said she had a little struggle. We're seeing that Jimbo's struggling. It looks like Candy has it situated. Um, it's tough. Were you able to help Jimbo at all, or did you know they were getting cast for this when all that was happening? What's the question? Did you help Jimbo at all get ready for All Stars 8, or did you know they were gonna be on it when it was happening? Oh, yeah, I knew it was happening. I was on tour with Candy. Jimbo, Heidi, and all in separate corners. You were also on the haters' roofs? No, I'm not that funny. Okay. I, um, <laughs> it was um, war, war on the Catwalk, and each of them pulled me aside in a different time and was like, I got on All Stars. <laughs> and I did it, and I was like, oh my God. And then Jimbo was like, hey, Pri, can I talk to you? And I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> I'm not supposed to tell anybody. But so, I'm an so, they yeah. told, so basically, they told you, right? The, they told me. I the wonder only... if we can still get them disqualified. <laughs> <for us>. <laughs> <laughs> the only person, <laughs> even though she bullied me the whole tour, the only person I actually like helped was Candy. I was like, oh, do you need anything? She's like, I need extra wigs. So I shipped her whatever wigs I had from my house. But Jimbo doesn't need help. Jimbo's got it covered. <laughs> So yeah, she was getting paid a lot after her elimination on Versus the World. Jimbo, yeah, Jimbo did amazing, right? On her, the Versus, she didn't deserve to go home. Jimbo's being having competed with Jimbo in season one to the seeing the glow up is so fascinating to watch. It's just a surgery. It's, did, <laughs> I mean, one of so. the one of the first things that Ruth said, right, when she said she goes. So great to see you all and your new faces, because everyone. But uh, have you guys seen the picture of Jimbo, where from the first season, yeah. then the second one, and then now it it the best glow up. It's the amazing. Best. But also she she shared this story that she was in a bad place those True. years, yeah, she did. and she stopped like partying and everything, and now she's feeling like better, and you can tell that she looked better, and I'm proud of her. She no matter than now she's back to all those terrible no I'm joking <laughs> <laughs> she just look, she go out and sometimes you think like she's drunk or high whatever and she's just Jimbo <laughs> <laughs> it's so true and it was so nonchalant the way that she told us we, it was like we had the drinks in Untucked and we're like oh here you you know grab a drink she's like oh no I'm, I'm not drinking we're like oh are yeah. you sober she's like no someone called me old and it just made me feel like I'm drinking and I'm just like tearing myself apart. She's like, so I just don't want to do it anymore. So yeah. she just does it, it. First of all, the fact that someone thinks that they have the right or they're in a position to call somebody old, go fuck yourself because you do not have that right. Um, and second of all, for her to actually it affect her to the way that she's like, yeah. well, I'm not going to drink oh, yeah. anymore ever yeah. again. When I was talking to her, about being sober, she was like, I don't know if she is that anymore, but she was like, I feel like the more I drink, the older I'm getting, and then revealed that the comment was getting to her. And then, um, it is funny when you, the thing about being on Drag Race is like all the comments, which, you know, you only see the bad ones, always, and there's always like 80% good, and then 20% are like, go die, go kill yourself. Um, those ones, especially in like a hungover place, can really hit you extra hard, because your anxiety is so high which is like a lot of the reason why I stopped drinking too. I was like, I can't do this anymore. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like this, so many dressing rooms are sober now. But I'm gonna Not tell you one. something to all of you. Don't feel guilty. Keep drinking because yes. we need to get paid. Yes. Absolutely. You can drink, you can do whatever you wanna do, but just 
be careful, you know? Yeah. Don't, don't responsible. Yeah, don't responsible. Yeah. That's the word. Responsible. Shots. Speaking of drinking, I'm gonna <laughs> Speaking of drinking, I'm gonna tell you guys a quick story about Jessica and the promo. We were <laughs> Wait, what happened? We were we were shooting. Be careful, the, I have stories. No, I don't know, no, but this is a good <laughs> right, get this her. Is, this is a good one. It's a no, fun yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, let's it's do a it, fun let's one. Do it. So uh, we were doing the promo and everyone was uh, <laughs> Everyone is a different flower. Like you're a rose, you're a tulip. daisy, a tulip. Because the people that were working on there, they didn't want them to know who was who and like placement and all these things. So you were def- you're like a flower. And everyone finished at different times. And I had finished first and Jessica still had to shoot the actual promo promo. And it was what scared her the most. She's like, you know, I'm just... I'm not really into photo shoots and this and that and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, there's cocktails, Mary. Do you, do you want a little cocktail to loosen you up? And she's like, I see, see, traeme un palito, traeme un palito. Like, like, which is like, yeah, give me little shots, whatever. So I kept like bringing her shots. But and at first would, she was drunk already. Oh yeah, oh, well, hold on. Because I was done already, <laughs> done. I was already drinking with some of the other girls, <laughs> with Monica and Kahana, and she was shooting. And so I kept going into the room, and I'm like, are you good? She's like, yeah, another one. And another one. <laughs> and another one. And baby, I was Cindy Crawford. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so good, because she was feeling her entire fantasy, but she was definitely drunk. <laughs> but... And I'm, this is another, like, um, behind the scenes. When our pictures came in the promo, I was like, what is that ugly Jessica Wilde on top of my picture? Why? Oh That's my God. horrible. Because I, my writing is horrible. And I'm like, who did that? And they shot you. And I'm like, when? <laughs> when you were drunk, they gave you a paper. They told you, sign here. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like... And I'm like, why you didn't sign for me to have a beautiful one? Which I signed for three people, by the okay, way. Okay, work, girl. <laughs> but at least if you get that picture, it's my real sign. And there's three other girls that are my signature. <laughs> signature, yes. Yeah. All right, on that note, let's go ahead and go right back to the show. Okay. Ooh. That's so scary. Before we get into this, make some noise for lesbians. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, that's... that's Let's take a shot. Lesbian! Let's, let's cheers lesbian! to... Lesbian! Listen. L- Raise les- your hands, lesbians! Lesbian! Listen, lesbian? these blah, 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 lesbians blah, blah, blah. put themselves in a very uncomfortable <laughs> position. Cheers to them. On, uh, cheers to lesbians. Yeah, cheers to the lesbians. Thank you guys Ding. for coming out. I know you guys okay. usually stay home, but I, I appreciate you guys here, the few that are here. <laughs> well, our remaining queens did make all of them feel uncomfortable, and RuPaul, through the typical drag race spin, you have to do a lip sync with the makeover. Um, I kind of agree with Candy. I feel like top three to do a makeover and teach somebody something is a little stressful, and having my fate in someone else's hands, I don't know how I'd feel about that. Jessica, Priyanka, what do you think about this? <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> Um, having the makeover at top three, is that stressful or are you more like, I got this, I can do it? It was a lot of bullshit. I don't think, yeah. Because yeah. traditionally it's like the music video challenger or something like that. It's something fun, like a verse. Yeah. Yeah. Traditionally, the top four fight for the crown. Right. The top four usually. Maybe the top three. Like uh, We were like, makeup challenge? Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it would suck. I think so much pressure in like... I couldn't even imagine how frustrated you were when the person you got Yeah, because it doesn't depend on you. Like, and, and she's a human. I'm not going to be like, you <laughs> fucking puta. <laughs> <laughs> you better walk. <laughs> like Naomi Campbell's right now. You know, it was hard. I have to listen to her. She was in pain. Even Candy's girl, we, we went to the producers like, can, can you please give us another heels? Like, these, these ones are not working. She's uncomfortable. This is 
terrible for, for them, you know? I don't want them to look bad or to feel bad or uncomfortable, maybe break a leg. Like, can you please help us? So they listened to us because the, the girls, they were like, I can't, I cannot, you know? It was a lot. Like, like, like I'm telling you, la, la de la alcapurria. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's not easy to walk in big hills. Like, if you have your four and a half, whatever, <laughs> it's hard. And I think Lisa was trying to help me, but I saw in her face that she was struggling so much. Even with corset and stuff, she was like, I can't, I don't know. And I'm like, bitch, if, I'm, if I have this fucking tape from here to here, you can do it. I'm not going home because of you. You got it? And she was like, yes. No. <laughs> yeah, no, I think we had, an, at the end, we had an amazing connection with every single girl that, that helped us a lot because we had communication. Can Candy have a communication with her girl? Me and Lisa was like, how do you feel? But please, it's just one day. I'm doing this every day. For you, it's just one day. Can you, can, como se dice? Aguanta el dolor. Can you hold the pain? Hold the pain, please. And she was like, okay. But heels, baby. Not every lesbian. I, you are a lesbian, right? I saw you. You are in heels right now, right? A platform. A platform. Oh. What the fuck is the way? She's a chunky heel. Yeah, a little chunky heel. I live. Good for you. I live. <laughs> she said comfort and style. There is no such thing, girl. Yeah, but, but I'm pretty sure that you can walk in heels, right? Yeah. Yeah, but not like every lesbian love heels. Or love to walk in heels. And my Lisa, she hated it. She's like, give me the flats. So I was trying to find a shoe that she's going to feel comfortable. And you're going to see the horrible ones that she's going to wear. <laughs> <laughs> so get ready for those. But she was comfortable. Okay. Through all the uncomfortable stuff, for both of you, what was a really memorable part of the makeover that you got to experience with your uh, person? My makeover experience was so different to yours. <laughs> Mine was like very positive and inspiring and great. The person who came, his name was Elton. He was like, he's from Toronto. We had uh, Rainbow Railroad refugees, so people that Rainbow Railroad brought over. An amazing organization. They bring, um, you know, gay people, queer people, uh, from really uncomfortable, illegal to be gay countries over to Canada to be safe, which is really cool. So we, I, he was just like, He's like, I, I was like, if I am in the bottom again, I'm gonna go home. And he's like, I'm gonna win this for you. It was Aww. just like, he just made it his mission to be good, never complained once. And I saw him in just like shaking, you know, to the point where like when we were getting critiqued, he was like, can I, can I take off these fucking heels now? And I was like, I just asked the judges, I was like, can we take off the heels? Like everyone's dying. And they're like, yeah, no problem. So it was a little different. <laughs> Be because they are real. People think like, no, this is a setup. No, they, it's real people that they are there because they want to be on the show and because they are real lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't fake being yeah. lesbians just to it's be on like, the show. She, that's why she came to me like, <laughs> I don't like heels. I don't like anything like feminine. <laughs> I don't think we've questioned once if they were real lesbians. <laughs> They no. all look like real ones. What is happening? <laughs> I'm just no, saying, they real. all look like I real I just want to clarify. <laughs> all of them were real. They were really that real lesbians. It's not like producers, you know, they, they went there to do... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think like same... To be lesbian. As yeah. any... <laughs> Same as any drag queen, drag entertainer before they go on any kind of competition show, it's never what you think it is. Ever. And that throws a lot of people off. We, we've seen some amazing queens be like, this is not for me. Or people just like, they thrive in it because they're like, this is so much fun. So for the makeover challenge people, already they don't do drag. So imagine all the cameras. They can't talk when they're not supposed to talk. I feel like so much pressure. And then you have like Candy Muse being like, if you don't fucking win this, I'm gonna come to your house and fucking kill you, bitch. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, these, these poor lesbians. I mean, but no. it, it's and also the fun no. part. And besides, we are teaching them how to walk a fucking number. 
That's the, that is the word. I was like, really a performance? Now, Lisa, it was all the time with, with this, the iPod, you know, that we have for, and she was like, and I'm like, she's not gonna learn shit. <laughs> she was just, Jessica's watching me. Da, da. <laughs> this is the beginning, the beginning. I'm like, she's not gonna remember this tomorrow. <laughs> but she was trying just for me, she, uh, and, and I was like, Lisa, <laughs> do, do what you gotta do but please don't fuck it up. <laughs> All right, well, let's go back to the show and see if Lisa no, fucks it up. Even, let's talk we about- talk. Let, let's talk about my life. <laughs> <laughs> Work. Okay, so let's talk about the- <laughs> We've been here for how long and I don't, how many times have we talked about the episode? <laughs> let's talk about the episode real quick. Um, who do we like and who did we not like? We'll start with you, Priyanka. I who, think- um, who was your favorite and least favorite? <laughs> Candy, Jimbo. Well, Jessica. I think Jimbo's was my least favorite. Why? Because I think that if uh, she was more comfortable doing the clown drag, it would have yeah. like we all would have got it and screamed. But everyone in the room was like, "Hmm." Do Do you? Jessica's thi- looked amazing, by the way. I was. Yeah. You, you downplayed it, bitch. You're like, I don't know, the shoes are ugly. I was like, this is, it looks really good. Do you think good. she should have pushed for the clown look? She'd be like, hey, love, I get you're not really comfortable with it, but I'm the one competing, so I would love for you to do this. I mean, it's not shade. It's kind of the truth. But Nasha, I think so. It's this is, this is, the truth. This is, this is would, what happened with Jimbo. That was the only dress that it was a stretch and fit her. Right. Because the other stuff she was trying and trying and trying and she was struggling. She was like, fuck, what am I gonna do? So that was the only option that she had to be honest. Like she okay. was trying, she had an amazing outfit, but didn't fit, no. And my favorite was Jessica's. Awesome. <laughs> of course. Now, honestly, you did a great job. Do uh, you good. agree or no? <laughs> <laughs> they do, <laughs> they do, girl. Now let me tell you, that's why, they, they didn't say like that we need to be exactly the same fabric or whatever. So I was like, you know, like we, we look like a, a daughter and a mother, mm-hmm. right? In our own way. And I'm happy and proud that I found something <laughs> in my stuff because as I tell my idea, it was a totally different. Drag race is a surprise. All, you, all the time you have a surprise. That's why you have 300 panic attack in one second because you are like, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do. And when I saw my baby girl, my kitty wild, I was like, my pussy is so beautiful. <laughs> and yes, I think, I think we all like, I remember when we saw the three girls talking in a corner, me, Jimbo and Candy, we were like, they are us. <laughs> they look like us. And yeah, I think I'm the best. <laughs> I think we agree. So we saw that y'all got them ready. Um, how much time did y'all have to get into drag after you got them dolled up? How much time do you have to get ready? Oh. <laughs> this is the part that, you know, make us angry. We had for us maybe like an hour and 20 minutes. And you know that's nothing. Well. Nesha Lopez, she just wear gloss. And gloss it's, and, and a it's lash. so good. And, and I'm she's good. like, oh, hi. But in my case, I need a little bit more than gloss. <laughs> Cemento. Pa, pa, pa. <laughs> um, yeah. So when we saw our girls, we were like, oh my God, I'm so proud. Now I just have an hour and 20 to get ready. It was, it was a hard challenge. And I think we did great, right? I think y'all ate I it. I think up. so too. I thought it was great. I thought it was great. And our girls, they felt comfortable. Candy had to change uh, the shoes to, for her Cookie? girl, mm-hmm. and, and she was walking better. I saw they were smaller. Right? Yeah, they yeah. were smaller. I think I think producers they they help us because they understood like, baby, this is not about this is about health. My my girl maybe can break her legs. Can you help me, please? I need her size for her to walk. I don't give a fuck if you're gonna send me home, but I want her to feel good, and they, they help us. 
No, all three of them felt the fantasy. They all looked really stunning. Um, now we're gonna get into the choreo uh, choreography for the performance. The, yeah. yeah, that y'all just did. Um, did you get to watch any of the other divas get ready for that or no? Nation. <laughs> Listen, this is two weeks in a row. Last week, Lala and her vocab fucked up vocabulary. And today, Jessica's just like, just tell me. And it's, and, and it's not just she don't understand, because she understands everything. It's the cocktail no, she's no. having right now. <laughs> She, she loves this trick. And this is yeah. just the beginning. Yeah. No, is, is that sometimes I understand the things in, maybe if you explain to me in, with other words, yeah. it get easier to me. Did you get to see Your the English girls perform? Your English is amazing. <laughs> I'm the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get to watch the other girls perform? And oh, yeah. yeah. Like, it's like when I you... I literally said the same exact thing. Pero con tu acento de la perla. Carla. Yeah. De Puerto Rico. Con tu acento de la perla, Puerto Rico. Ahí te entendí. If you guys don't know what la perla is, help bitch. me out. <laughs> you better go with me. <laughs> so, um, we were we like Jimbo performed. I was watching Jimbo with Candy. Then Candy performed. We we watched each other, but. This performance, it was after the liberation. So it was, it was like a... For fun. Like a bonus. Yeah, yeah. Like, let me see you guys be clowns. <laughs> it was like, j just perform. And so, they, go ahead. Did, did, go they ahead. <laughs> did they tell you that you're not being judged for the dancing part? Yeah. Okay. They were like, oh, let me see you perform. Who said that, who that? RuPaul. <laughs> RuPaul, <laughs> let me perform for me. And I'm like, yeah, we're ready. Let's okay, do this. since we're speaking of the performances, let's get back to the show and let's watch these performances. No, I'm to yeah. I want to talk about my life. life. <laughs> so in La Perla, I, I used to go to the. Ooh. Uh, uh. Okay, so. Jessica, how confident are you feeling at this point right now when you were there that Candy picked Jimbo and not you? Was that going through your mind? Yeah, do you remember like my decision that I'm gonna evolve for whatever? I know Candy was doing the same. So to me, I was like, she's gonna make whatever decision is gonna be good for her. I was like, please send home Jimbo, please, 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 please. please. <laughs> but by track records, I, I like to be fair, you know? And Jimbo was her first time in the bottom. Track record, she was winning like for the fourth time. So I was like, I don't think Candy's gonna save me. So I was preparing myself and thinking about how, how an amazing season I did, you know? I was like, I'm top three. Um, I'm feeling great with myself. Um, I know maybe somebody's gonna cut one of my wings tonight, but I can fly with the other one. Um, but I had the feeling that Candy, it was gonna save Jimbo. That, that's what, but because you need to watch what's gonna happen. But I thought she was gonna save uh, Jimbo because of the alliance and because of her winnings. So I was just celebrating myself and whatever happened, happened. Yeah. Now, Priyanka, what would you do if you were in candy shoes? Would you send home the person with four wins? Would you base it on track record? What would you do? I would so God. I mean, I don't know. I think what I would, if I was ever to do this kind of, this kind of All-Stars, which I don't think I would, um, you wouldn't do a winner's All-Stars? Like I would do a winner's. Yeah, winner's All-Stars. Yeah, all, absolutely. It's all I ever talk about, actually, doing a winner's two, ever. And every other week or so, I just... I'm going to do the losers. <laughs> it's we don't a, know that. It's a funny because production... You know what? It's, it's definitely hard because I think, like, you want to get rid of your biggest competition, but then it's also you don't. So it's also... It's, it's just hard. I don't know. I can't answer the question. You did well. Don't make me do it. To me... Again, 
the track record in case of Jimbo. Jimbo has been doing a great season. That's what I told Candy. You can decide whatever you want. I, I love you. But be careful because Puerto Rico is going to hate you. Yeah, and then I was thinking about like your fans and then also Jimbo's fans. I, when I won, Jimbo's fans were nasty to me. So there's no win. <laughs> You're fucked either way, Candy. <laughs> yeah, I like how Rue also made sure to point out that no matter what the decision is, it's going to fall on Candy, win or yeah. lose. And I'm, and I'm happy about that. <laughs> because whatever is going to happen, I don't know what's going to happen. We need to watch this. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go back. Let's just go back because we do want to do all stuff. We do want to <laughs> untucked after this. We're going to do untucked and we're yeah. going to do Q&A and we want to get to that. Um, but I'm so, so sad about what is going to happen to Jimbo. <laughs> all right, get on your feet for Jessica Wong! Get on your feet! <laughs> Listen, Jessica... Hell, motherfucking yeah. Baby, you have made not just Puerto Rico proud, but you've made everybody proud. We are so ecstatic for you. You were absolutely amazing. You have truly shown that not only are you a competitor on Drag Race, but you are one talented motherfucker, for sure. And, and, fucking hilarious. So, so funny. I'm so happy to call you my sister. I'm so proud of you. Your journey is not done. It has only begun, sister. Give it up for yeah. Jessica Wilde. Aw, yes. And let me tell you, I'm so happy to be back in Chicago. Yes. Roscoe's, like, my first show. ¿Qué? ¿Qué quien quiere esto ahí? Quítate la ropa, papi. <laughs> oh, yeah. Puterra is my new single, so go and support me. Pute tu puterra. Okay. No, tú eres solo puta. So, um, yes. I'm so excited to be here because when I, like, when I did season two, my first three gigs, it was in Orlando, Boston, and Chicago a spin. <laughs> I was a spin and then I was here all the time until they forgot about me but now I'm gonna ooh, be here ooh, as ooh. Roscoe's like once a week <laughs> I love you guys so much to all like, like my, my Latinos gracias por todo el apoyo de verdad de corazón lo, lo di todo I'm, estoy feliz I'm so happy um, and to everybody, like we are a family here, my lesbians, straight, whatever, we are celebrating life. I'm losing a lot of friends. You know, I lost my best friend in December and I'm still dealing with that, but I'm celebrating his life. And everywhere I go, I'm like, please don't pay attention to the bullshit. Sometimes your job or whatever bullshit, just live every second of your life and be happy, share your love. Love your partner, love your family, love your life, love yourself. That's all. We don't have time for anymore, okay? So, yeah. that's, well put. that's the legacy. That's why I'm on TV, to inspire people to be themselves and to be happy. That's my crown. That's my, my grand prize. And I'm proud of myself. I survive a fucking roast. I hate that. And you know what? I think I'm going on tour roasting people. <laughs> Thank you so much for your love and support and please don't be sad for me and if you are sad just just buy me tacos carne asada with with, with guacamole extra guacamole <laughs> Also ah. let's not forget please give it up for Priyanka winning her list. Yeah uh, Priyanka, because of your lip sync, you added ten thousand dollars to the Fame Game, so it's Thank now you. sixty thousand dollars. Nation worth. is grateful. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely. How was uh, everyone's lip sync assassin experience? Is different. You both were lip sync assassins. How was your experience, Priyanka? It was 
I honestly was up here crying because I was like, I cannot believe that I'm on TV lip syncing in front of RuPaul. Because we didn't get to do that in Canada. Yeah. Well, that was your first time meeting Ru? That was my first time meeting her. And I was like, you know, I, it was just one of those things where, first of all, RuPaul is perfect in person. Unbelievable, I can believe it. And the it's whole- It's just the lights. Great, yeah, <laughs> great. Well, <laughs> oh my God, they're recording me. You know what? I did all star already. I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I still have maybe. I, I might have a season to do still. So hold up. Um, <laughs> I um, it was. It felt like she. I don't know. I don't know if this is real or not. This is in my head. But the minute that that thing came up and she saw me, I was like, oh, I feel like she wants me to have a good time. They cut out a lot of our conversation. Remember, yeah. it was just like so much back and forth. And I was like, I wasn't expecting to talk to her. I thought she was gonna be like, whatever, Canada bitch, <laughs> do this lit lip sync. Like I gotta go home. Zoe did Chanel's rap soon. Like we gotta cut this. But she engaged in the conversation. We did the, my name is Priyanka, what, what's my name? And she screamed it and I was like, oh my God, it felt so amazing. And it just really felt like she wanted me to have a good time the whole time, it was amazing. And I actually, the, my favorite thing about this whole experience is that like, they weren't looking at the Canada girls to be a lip sync assassin. I was on tour and I heard somebody couldn't do it, like someone dropped out. Yeah. So I called myself <laughs> and I was like, hey, I don't know, I've heard rumors that you might be filming, like if you need a lip sync assassin, and they were like, no, sorry, we're, like, we're, we're full. And I was like, and nobody tells me no, I'm like, oh my God. So then a week later, I did a follow up, <laughs> a circle back, a circle back, as you do, as the professional girl I am. And then the next day I got an email saying like, get to LA, come fast, you're gonna do it. And I was like, Thank, if, if, if you don't ask for things, you're not gonna get them in this life. So it. To Please, see this, just say that again, Priyanka, <laughs> say it again. If you don't ask for things, you're not gonna get them in life. And I basically like, you know, created this experience where I got to meet RuPaul. And she said that I was a winner, baby. So I, I got it from both ends. I, admit, I feel like a Ru girl now. <laughs> <laughs> well, You've always been a rule girl, so don't even try it. You've always been a rule girl. Um, it was great to see you up there. The humility of just watching you, that's such a beautiful thing. Please don't lose that. You are absolutely gorgeous and so talented. It was great to see you up there, my love. Um, with that said, I want everyone to be able to ask these two beautiful, talented girls all kinds of questions. So we're going to jump into Untucked right now. Um, let's do it. Okay. While Untucked's airing, during these commercials, we're going to go around and ask some questions. So please just raise your hand. Think of the context of your question. You can ask any of the ladies up here whatever you may like. Oh, okay. Do you have While Jessica says hi and bye, don't I look good, Roscoe's? Woo! Yeah, you do. You always look good. We're gonna do Q and A. We're ready, we're ready, we're ready. We're Let's ready. go. Let's start right here, right in the middle. Stand up for me. What's our name? Hi, my name is Eric. Um, I'm from Mexico, but I live here in Chicago. Oh, and my name is for Jessica Wild. Uh, Jessica Wild, te ves hermosísima. Uh, for my question, so Drag Race Mexico just started just a couple of weeks ago, and you hosted a lovely party in LA, which I'm sad I couldn't go because I'm I'm here. But um, I'm sure you met all the queens, and I'm sure you know a lot of tea of the season, maybe. So give me your. I'm sure you've been watching so far Drag Race Mexico. You met the queens. What? What's the tea? What can you tell us? Is there any? Hold thing? on one second. I don't mean to interrupt you, but I'm gonna interrupt you really quick. So, you took an opportunity to ask her a question about a different franchise and different girls. So, and then my with that, I'm saying, what are your thoughts of the season, and what do you think, and like. I was thinking, so what's tea? What, what can you tell us of it? What is your opinion? Well, I think every season of Drag Race and every franchise is amazing because everywhere they need their up. own Drag Race, you know? But I'm, I'm prouder of Drag Race Mexico because it's in Spanish. And yes. even the, like, the lip syncs are Alejandra Guzman, Talia. I wish to be on that season. Yeah. To do all my favorite songs like Mira la, Mira la, Mira la. Yo sabes, Dida de Salivisa. ¿Dónde están mis mexicanos? 
Yeah, I'm so proud, especially, and I'm proud of Lolita and Valentina. Valentina. Yeah. And this is just like season one. I know they're gonna get like better and better and better and better. And yes, Regina Bosse for um, Queen the, of the, the universe. universe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mexico have an amazing drag scene and I'm so proud and so happy to see that they have their own drag race because they are representing not just Mexico, all the Latinos. It's like me and Asia, like, Yes, we are Puerto Rican, but we are representing Latinos. We Absolutely. are a family. Thank you. And uh, Mexicanos in the house especially, or anybody who speaks Spanish, period, please go show Valentina a lot of love, a lot of... One thing is that, um, you know, she's not born in Mexico, and her first language was not Spanish, and she goes on there speaking Spanish the best that she can. And this is what happens sometimes with Latinos born in the States, they don't tap into their own culture and they don't care to learn it. She has. So if she doesn't get one or two right uh, words correctly, don't, don't fuck with her because of that. Give her the credit that she deserves for even being on a platform that is supporting and promoting Latino culture. Yes. And that's the same that happened with Selena and with J-Lo. If they're representing us, I fucking hate to, to see comments like, Oh, but she's not. We are, she's representing us, you know. She's she's talking and and fighting for our rights and whatever. Let's support because maybe you born here in Chicago, but your mother born in La Perla, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> also, La Perla. I love La Perla. Is probably one of the. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, it I is hood. It is ghetto. It is. I mean, if you want to buy some shit, that's where you buy it. Like, it is. And she keeps saying you mean, that. You, you, mean, you mean piraguas. Piraguas. Yes, piraguas. <laughs> Our next that's exactly question. exactly what I mean. It's right over here. Would you stand up for it? And what is your name? Um, can I grab it? Okay. Everybody's um, saying Priyanka. <laughs> What's your name? Priyanka! Woo! Uh, my name is Tatiana. I'm a fellow Puerto Rican living here for grad studies. I saw this. Um, and I have a comment first. Me está dando vibes de María Chusema, and I love it. She, you can explain to them what, who María Chusema is. María Chusema, I prefer to be Sandra Saiter, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, no, I and, love you. Yes. Thank and you. then um, my question is. Soy María Chusema. Bienvenidos a mi casa. Yes. <laughs> Diablo, bitch. You are old as fuck. Excuse me. Not older than you. Anyway. <laughs> well, you're the one talking about Maria Chusema. I'm, I'm, it's okay. It's I'm okay. from Barney. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to tell you that, like, watching you in TV and, like, talking with this accent, it was so refreshing and so inspiring. And I wanted to ask you how you've become to embrace that. Because I can tell that you're, like, te lo estás gozando and you make a thing out of it. And I just appreciate that so much. Also, ¿me puedo tirar una foto contigo después de esto? Claro que sí. Okay. En los baños, en el toilet. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, I'm proud to be who I am. I'm proud to be Puerto Rican. I'm proud to be Latino. I'm proud. I'm proud that I speak Spanish and I speak English. <laughs> you know, I can do both. I just learned that. I can do anything I want. I, I moved here from Puerto Rico to improve my English. That was my first, um, so I was, ¿cómo se dice? Yo estaba, estoy, uh, que no lo sé ni en español con esta tanto, dilo, 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 tanto dilo, trago. Es que está tomando la Yo nena, me moví acá para improve my English, but I didn't realize that I just moved here to follow my dreams, you know, and, and in the meantime, I learned a better English. But my English is not perfect, but I don't care that it's not perfect. I love my accent. I love my Latino roots. I'm proud to be Puerto Rican. And no matter that we are USA citizen, we have our own culture. Mi bandera no me la quita nadie. And my accent no me lo quita nadie. If I sound like Sofia Vergara, yes, I'm hot like her. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I'm proud of that. I think Bad Bunny, every time he go to an interview, he don't give a fuck. He's going to start speaking Spanish. And I think they are opening doors. Like, 
just be who you are. People is gonna love us because who you are. And I am a Puerto Rican drag queen superstar. Yes. <laughs> we're gonna and do one more question, and we're gonna go back to Untuck. One little quick. And I love that nation. Like, let's move forward. <laughs> no, 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 wait. I, no, no, no. That's not it. I was gonna say we're gonna do this question really quick. Go back to Untuck. But also for everyone in the bar, because they they can hear me up in front. We're gonna. Uh, Cut it off in front. We're going to do music in front, and we're going to keep the Q&A and untuck yeah. back here. So if you want to keep drinking and keep with the music, go ahead yeah. and go in front. We're going to play Olga Tanyong yes, over there. Yes, but here on this side, we're going to respect the queens and what they have to say. Um, so we'll keep the untucked and Q&A here going, okay? Let's do this quick question right here. What's our name, Gorgeous? And who's our question for? Hi, my name is Eric. And um, my question, it's not a question. It's more a thank you to Jessica. Um, I still remember you are the first international drag superstar I ever saw in El Salvador. You went there to Shiva like 10 years ago with Me Gusta And I Wild. have a story about that. <laughs> Tell wish, us. Wish it was with me. No, and, and, and you were there. Yes. They didn't let trans women or drag queens to be part of the night. And I was like, you know, you know I was immature, I was innocent, I was just in El Salvador. I, I started my performance and I was like, uh, and a lot of guards with guns, and I'm like, what's going on here? And the only trans woman can be part of the night, it was Monica, because she was like the, the famous one, and Monica told me, Jessica, the trans community can be part of this party. We have a party for you in a dangerous town. She told me that that is not safe, but we have a party for you. You know what I say? I don't give a fuck, let's go. Whatever happened, happened, but let's go. And I, and I had a great time, but Chiva, it was my first time in El Salvador, and I had the best experience when I went to that little bar that it was like, I love danger. <laughs> <laughs> but all the trans community, they were doing my song, you like it, what, and everything. I love El Salvador, I've been there a lot. Are you Salvadorian? Yes. Te lo chupo. Oy. Oh my God. And on that note, let's go right back to Untucked. <laughs> Nisha, they haven't you but. Okay, we're going to do some uh, more QA, but before we do, I forgot say, we did that. Before we, <laughs> what? I forgot about all that. The behind about the all scenes. that? That was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. When, when I did my Lip Sync Assassin on season six, were it, you was there? In, it was in the middle of the pandemic. And it was like a lot, you know, I can touch the girls, like don't even talk to them. And when they sent Jara Sofia home, she was coming to my house after that. And I'm like, oh my God, now Jara is coming to my house. <laughs> that was worse than losing All Stars. If you know Jara Sofia, you know exactly why. <laughs> Give it up for Jara Sofia. She's watching. <laughs> but really quick, I love uh, when we get uh, our celebrities in the house. We have a former Miss Continental, one of the most beautiful Miss Continentals to actually capture this title. Her name is Chantal, Chantal DeMarco. DeMarco. Chantal DeMarco. Chantal DeMarco. Wow. Stunned. Yes, I beautiful. Saw, I went to that pageant uh, and she won. Well, I love her. Is it, is it just Chantal DeMarco on Instagram? Yes, so go to Chantel DeMarco on Instagram. You'll see uh, the and beauty And on Grindr, it's just Chantel. On yes. Grindr, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's Let me just, tell you. Just, just the, the, sometimes people confuse me with Chantel, and I'm like, no. It happens all the time. It's all the time. It's all the time. Um, but uh, let's sister. do some more Q&A. Uh, do we have someone? Did you we got one right here, then yeah. I'm going to head this way. Perfect. What is our name, and who's our question for? Yes. Hola, mis reinas. Uh, mi nombre es Rodrigo. So basically, I just want to first praise all the POCs and everything that you've done for all the community. Thank you. Pero, uh, mainly for my Latinas and my all-stars here, basically just looking back over track. <laughs> Sorry, Priyanka. She's Latina by injection. Oh, maybe. bitch, you could do that. Listen, listen, listen. 
The bitch won, okay? She's fine. She's girl. doing good. She, she's fine. She won the shit. Thank Pero you. for me, all stars, just looking back over Drag Race or any old program from the early seasons, how we were treated as Latino, as basically making fun of our mannerisms and just having that be the butt of the joke. Just seeing how one, you want our Latino community to be resentful and be saved for just each vote and show more representation. How do you feel that from how we change basically as our group from now versus then? That was a lot, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> How do you so, think they viewed Latin culture and Latinos then versus now? Listen. Oh yeah. No, no. You first. I, I don't. I don't. I don't think that they ever. The sh and we're talking about the show, or are we talking about the audience? Well, let's let's say the show, and then result the audience, because what happens is the show would treat the girls a certain kind of way, and a result, the audience would do the same, or piggyback off that, right? Now, this was the problem with a lot of the girls because every season there was a girl from Puerto Rico on there and the biggest issue was the language barrier. Um, the problem was they weren't getting the jokes, they weren't getting the comedy, they weren't getting certain things and because of that they were sent home. And then the problem is that and not everyone, but the toxic part of the fandom just jumps along with it and then says, ah, she's not talented, she went home third, or she went home this. And it wasn't that, because, uh, and not because I am a Latina, but you go online and Google, ¿cómo se llama? Crash, um, uh, la barra que hacían los concursos, que era, yeah. era Crash, Eros, Eros. Crash. And if you go and watch these talents from Puerto Rico, I'm talking about productions with 10, 15 dancers and the creativity. Some of the most creative drag queens on the face of this earth are Latina queens. And I promise you that, I promise you that was not showcased on this show at all. At all. Because this is, there, it, there's a, camp to this, right? There's comedy and there's this and that was just something that the Latinos unfortunately weren't excelling at. I think that it has changed. I think someone like Jessica being on this season, I think when she was on there the first time, she, the language barrier, because we're, as Latinos, we're so proud of where we come from and our language and then you get on there, you get kind of embarrassed and you don't want to, you don't want to talk. Yeah. Jessica was not afraid to talk. She chose to express herself, and I think it takes queens like herself to change the narrative, and I think she really did that this time. And I didn't expect that a lot of people, it was gonna be um, connected with me, like, because maybe you are not a drag queen on Drag Race, but maybe at your job, you are like, oh my God, my English, oh my God, my English, oh my God, my English. English is not the only language in this world. Yeah. But those years, I was like, English, 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 oh my God. Man. And now, I'm like, English is not my first language, but I can have a conversation. If you don't understand me, Google it, do whatever the fuck you <laughs> I, I came back with more confidence, and I think I'm still inspiring people. Like, don't, don't stop following your dreams. You can learn any language. It's gonna take time, but you can learn it. Um, and you can do your thing. I am not the same person that I was in season two. And now the difference is, example again, Bad Bunny can go to Saturday Night Live, to Jimmy, whoever the fuck is Kimmel. him. <laughs> Cristina Saralegui. Yeah. Sábado yeah. To Sábado Gigante. And you can, and, and they don't care. It's like, this is me. You, you want me to be here to give you an interview. I speak Spanish. So you better follow me because I, I am the one that is gonna lead this interview. You know, that's why. <laughs> that's why when I do a red carpet, I'm not as scared anymore because I used to. I remember those years, 2010. New Now, New Now Next Award, all those awards, like I was, Frozen. They came like. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> now I'm like, excuse me, can you repeat it again? Oh, I don't understand you, but let me tell you, this is what I think. You know, I'm not as scared anymore. And I think all of you, just do your thing, no matter where you come from. Believe in yourself. English is not your first language, or Japanese, or whatever. 
but baby, do your thing. I don't care. We got to go back to the show and we'll get to a few more questions in just a little bit. I always forget that we are watching a show. <laughs> oh, did you like 14? Vote. Not yes. Neisha Lopez. Jessica White, please. <laughs> <laughs> really quick, I want to remind you guys that uh, at about 10.30 tonight, we will be taking to the stage. We'll all be performing tonight. Yes, yes, yes. And next week, we actually have in the house Candy Muse as well as Jimbo. Ooh. So there's lots of there's lots and lots of seats available because no one wants to see. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Stop it. There's only standing room available next week. Um, but, but I think we are sold out tonight, oh, right? Oh yeah, we're sold out. We're tonight. sold out. Sold out. Down. Uh, so we're sold out. Absolutely. <laughs> um, I would love for you guys to push the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Uh, did we have w uh, uh, no more questions? questions? I think. Are questions. We doing any Do we have questions? time for one more? We have. Lesbian we'll in the heels. You have oh, one? No. All right, right over here. Our question. lesbian friend. Yes, would you like to stand up for us? Thank you for showing up tonight. What is your name and who's your question for? Titi me pregunto si tengo mucha novia. I have on the comfortable but stylish shoes, I promise. Um, hi, my question is for both Jessica and Priyanka. Aww. You guys are amazing. Thank you, you're so nice. Um, <laughs> I wanted to close oh, your mouth. closer. Okay, oh. hello. Um, <laughs> I wanted to know since both of you have been in the RuPaul's Drag Race universe for yes. multiple years now, yes. how being in that universe has impacted your out of drag identity? Ooh. Great as, question. As well as your Sorry. in drag persona. I would say <laughs> out of drag, question. I feel sexier now. I feel like. When people see you in the confessionals, I remember Bob the Drag Queen tweeted that I was the trade of the season. And I had confidence to go on Grindr, have so many threesomes. It was with, and there, it, it was bad. I had a, like, a, like a, I, I call it the, the dark era, <laughs> where like right after I won, I was like wild and free. Like I had a guy who dumped me, and I was on Grindr being like, I won Drag Race, come fuck me. <laughs> and it worked, hey. <laughs> You know? And it worked! Um, but it was a dark time, but still, I guess it was a fun time. I don't know, was it bad or good? Who knows? That was great. Um, and then, in drag, I definitely feel more pressure in drag, like, because I'm, like, fingering your fishnet. <laughs> Everybody want to fuck me in and out I know, of drag. oh my god. Oh my god. In and out, honey, in and out of drag, Ooh. they want to fuck me. In drag, yeah, But I'm not like... going to tell you that my okay. phone number is 787. I have your phone number. 469. A1. A1. No lo termine. Oh, no. Put it out there. <laughs> Stop. I, Dale que I'm me llamen por real quick. Con que se ha recibido una llamadita. Listen, YouTube is great, but it's also... I forgot that we... You see, I, I forgot YouTube. that I'm here. <laughs> the comments? Just between us. But Have girl. you read the comments on these videos? They're amazing. About Jen I go and I respond to I was going to call you them. Jennifer Lopez, bitch. Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> wow. Yes. Well, wow. You got it right. How about Neisha Lopez? <laughs> Wow, I just peed in the washroom. It was great. It was so long, and this guy was outside standing listening to me pee, and it was the longest pee I've ever had. I what Was uh, it? I, Where I, was it? It was no, that was it guy you? right there. You called her baddie. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I, mean, wow. I, I don't know what happened. I got defensive. I, something came over me. I'm well, so sorry. Well, that's fucked up. <laughs> I didn't mean to call you out. Some. I just get angry by accident. This is, it's a new side of my sobriety. I just get angry all of a sudden. <laughs> well, really quick, uh, this is one of my favorite parts and, and we're, we've run out of time, but I really want to do it really, 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 really fast. Sean, if I can do it really fast, please. Um, Cause it's one of my favorite things. So I want to send, uh, we, we get lots of comments and we, yes, we read the bad ones, but we love the good ones. Yes, we do. Um, thank you for letting me know where you guys are from. Let's say, uh, oh yeah, you want to shout out somebody, right? I want to shout out my friend Elia that she's watching. The show, I love you, girl. Thank you for taking you. care of me. I love you, girl. And we got Eli in the house over there, too, since we said Eli. Hey, Eli. Hey, Pa. How are you? <laughs> That's okay. your name in English? <laughs> she, se, she, se was, llama Ellie. she was like, she's like, no, our friend Ellie is over there. I go, Ellie, pero que carajo es Ellie? <laughs> I'm like, are you talking about oh. Eli? <laughs> Hi, Eli. Hi, Eli. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> en Rio Piedra se llama Ay, Eli. Ay, pa'l carajo. Pero mira, estás en Rascos. Aquí está en Eli. Mami, nena. pero lo, lo, Eli, lo de Rio Piedra Eli. no te lo quita nadie. 
But we want to give a shout out and a say hey to our friend Giuseppe in Italy. Thanks for watching, babe. We want to wish uh, Jake in the UK happy birthday, my love. I hope you've had an amazing day so far. Milan in Hungary, thank you for continuing to watch. We love you. To Kim in Honduras. Un besito, mi amor. Hi. Hello to Justin in Connecticut. So, Hi, Justin. Albion in Finland. Ooh. Jamie in Toronto. Priyanka's here too. Oh, hey. Jamie! <laughs> yeah. Who's that? And Dragayasa, Dragayasa en la Perla, Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, a shout out to Blue, all the way in Orange County, California. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep the comments coming. We appreciate all of you. Thank you, thank you so much. But tonight, please make some noise for the very talented and gorgeous Miss Jessica Walk and the stunning Priyanka. Roscos, please keep that energy going for our ASL interpreter, Olivia. Fuck yeah. Shout out to Batty Davis. We'll see her we next week. You. We miss you, Batty. Love you. But in the meantime, please make some noise for Miss Caramel DeVille. Woo! Oh, yeah. Caramel. Tu eres caramelo y chocolate. You know that, yes. Ah. Tu eres la mamita de And please vida. keep it going for our All-Stars 8 diva, Nesha Lopez. Yes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys next week with Jimbo and Candy Muse. See you at 10.30 Nation. for the show. Bye, yeah, Roscoe. Please, yes. don't forget to vote for us for the Fame Games, please. Yes, please. 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 And if you have to choose one, choose me. She lasted longer. So... <laughs> so she got way more money than I did. I stamina. need the 60,000. Uh, what happened? We'll be back at 11. So uh, get your cocktails. Get it's fucked up. It's not 2 a.m. already. Be generous to your bartenders. All right, let's do it. Have a good night, Roscoe. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube.